club. It can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. <coughs> They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic! My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, oh, oh. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Pepper. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, oh, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms for your compost heap? What a good idea! The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Ah. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are going home on the bus. Mr. Bull is going home with his bended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy. We want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK. We'll go on the bus. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. Ooh, a present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> No, Pepper. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Pepper. 
But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Peppa and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Peppa, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> Can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Pepper. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. <coughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh. That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa! George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Pepper. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> My turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. Brr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Good night, Shadows. Good night, Shadows. <laughs> Peppa, we need to wait until it's stopped raining. When will it stop? Let's listen to the weather forecast. This is the weather forecast. It will rain all day. Oh! I know. We can play the rainy day game. What's the rainy day game? I'll show you. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> But it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. 
You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh. Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But do we always have that one? The red monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Uh, yes, that is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's that? Library. It's a place you borrow books from, and when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <coughs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> The wonderful world of concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. And we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. <laughs> Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. <laughs> Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go out.